this first episode of Sandhill Cranes, I'm going to be showing you how to scribe the circle, or also could be called a cartouche, the big circle into which you're going to place your design. Let's go. All right, it's time to start using some of these big gourds that I have. And so I've picked out three. They're really enormous. That's number one, there's number two, and there's number three. My first step is going to be to draw the area where I want to put my design. Whatever size gourd you are going to use for this project, all you're going to do is make an oval, kind of a roundish circle for the frame. And it doesn't matter what size board you're using because it'll you'll just scale everything to size. So I'm just going to kind of plant my hand like this. And I'm just going to start going around and see what looks good. Now this is just a rough. And what I did was I turned the cord around. It's got a bit of a flat spot there, a bit of a flat spot there. So I just turned it around till I could see the best side. And then I want kind of the biggest amount of space so that I can have a very nice design feature, whatever it is. And I plan to do a rim around it as well. So I might have to go a little bit larger. So this is not going to be exactly round because you did it with your wrist and also because of the contour of the gourd, but what it will do is it's definitely going to look handmade and it will flatter the shape of the gourd because you sized it to the gourd. And I'll do another one so you can see that no matter what size gourd, the technique is about the same. This one I've turned around and it kind of leans a bit that way. I got a little bit of a flat side there. So this is the best presentation side, so I'm just going to kind of anchor right about there. Now if you want it exactly round, what you do is simply use a compass. It's amazing how the ends will meet up, but I don't want these exactly round because it's nature. And then I can always say, okay, the bulk of it's this way. I want a little bit more that way. I can elongate out the one side so it's more of an oval. And that's kind of what I want on that one. This last one's giving me a little bit of trouble because I feel like this is such a different color here and it feels really damp. But it's got a good, these are nice and thick. This is going to be really good for the project. The great thing is when you're cleaning them, you get to feel and really squeeze every single spot. I'm just going to check with a knife and see. No, that's no part of the mold. It's not going to come off. So I can either use it as part of the design feature or not. I think I'm going to keep it as part of the design. This is the flatter side. So I'm going to use this part. And I'll just kind of use that as my eyeball. And that is pretty much shake it and get the seeds to stay put. I think that's the area I want. Once again, I think I want a little bit more on this side, so I'm just going to oval out a little bit on that side. Now, if you're working with a small gourd, you would do the same type of thing. If I wanted to do this gourd, then what I could do is I could do a curved top. and then a curved bottom, and then simply attach the curves, and that would give you a nice oval frame. Or if you were doing a much smaller gourd, like this little guy, then it would be the same type of a thing. You're still just using your wrist to make that circle, and you'll be amazed at how round your circles are because your wrist is 
the perfect device. So make your circle whatever size that you want. And this isn't permanent. We can always adjust it a bit. And then we're going to think about how wide of a border, how wide of a frame do you want? And do you want the frame to have a design or just be plain? Once I actually decide where I really, really want this circle, then I probably will measure for the frame. And I've done everything from something like this where you just keep marking or maybe I have something that's a little bit wider and I just keep marking all the way around, but I usually use some way of measuring and making sure that my frame is the same width all the way around, even if the circle isn't exactly the same. So I'm just going to double check and see that I like this. I just feel like it needs to come, needs to be more of an oval. So first I'll wood burn it, then I'll measure for the second circle and then wood burn that one. I just want to have a last look. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of envisioning about where I want the top to go, where I want to cut it off because I want equal amounts above and below so that it looks a little bit framed. Oh, it's going to be a nice big area. Still feel like I want to use a little bit more of the area. This is such a great big cord. I'm going to go out some more. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe so you get part two which is about marking the top of the gourd.